Hey guys, welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School and today I will show you how to make this infographic slide animation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting your time, let's start our tutorial session. At first to take a new slide, right click and select new slide. Here you can see that we have a blank slide now. So first pick a oval shape holding Ctrl Shift from your keyboard, make it a bigger one. Pick a rectangle shape, drag it over this circle and then holding the control button we have to select this too go to format click on merge shape and select subtract now from shape fill we have to change its color from shape outline select no outline then just bring it to here press ctrl d to make a duplicate from rotate select flip vertical bring it to here change its color from shape fill Make another copy of this one and bring it to here. From shape fill again change its color and then select these three and place them in the middle of our slide. After that pick a text box drag it over this half circle add a number selecting the number change the font increase the font size make it bold change the font color to white make it center and place it here in the middle. Press Ctrl D to make a duplicate, bring it to here, do the same for the last one also. And then again pick a text box, drag it under this circle. Here I'm just adding some title, increase the font size, make it center, change the font color. Make another copy of this text box. Here I'm adding some sample text, holding the Ctrl button, select this two, press Ctrl G to group, press Ctrl D to duplicate again. Place it here, select this title, change the font color, again make another copy, place it here, select this title and change its color so that it matches with its respective circle. Now from our previous slide, I'll just copy this upper portion by pressing Ctrl C and paste it here by pressing Ctrl V. Then holding the Ctrl button, we have to select this too and press Ctrl G to group. Do the same. Select this two, press Ctrl G to group, do the same again, select this two and press Ctrl G to group. After doing so, pick a rectangle, drag it over here to cover this portion, go to format, click on shape fill, change its color to white, from shape outline select no outline. Now right click on it and send it to back, select this group of element, right click and send it to back. Now select this white rectangle press ctrl d to make a duplicate bring it to here cover this whole area right click and send it to back select this group of element right click and send it to back again make a copy of this rectangle bring it to here right click and send it to back select this group of element right click and send it to back now we can add our animations on this element. So go to animation, click on animation pane to look over animation status and to animate this first group of element, select this one from add animation, select fly in. From effect option, make sure it is selected that from bottom, set start on click and duration 0.50 second and from here, go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. Now select this group of text boxes from add animation. We have to select this float in animation from effect option select float down. Set start after previous duration 0.50 seconds. Select this second group of element from add animation select fly in. From effect option we have to select from top set start after previous duration 0.75 seconds. From effect option, we have to increase the smooth end and press OK. Select this group of text boxes from add animation, select float in. Set start after previous duration 0.50 seconds. Select this group of element from add animation, select fly in. Set start after previous duration 0.75 seconds. From here, go to effect option and increase the smooth end and press OK. For this group of text boxes from add animation select float in set from down set start after previous 
duration 0 0.50 seconds. And we are done. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that all the animations are working perfectly. You can download this template for free, I've given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give a like for this video. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, make sure you subscribe, share with your friends. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notifications from this channel. That's all for today. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.